Hey guys, it's Rachel, and thank you all for joining me. So before we get started, um, I just want to hope that everybody is doing really, really well. Um, and I want to let you know that if you're following on Facebook Live, you can write in any comments with any questions and I will be monitoring those and hopefully answering your questions. If you are with us on Zoom, um, I have muted everybody because that makes it much easier for people to hear the instructions. But if you do have a question, please feel free to either raise your hand or unmute yourself to ask the question. Um, but otherwise, try and stay muted so that everybody can focus on the instructions and doesn't get uh, distracted with the background noise, which sometimes we don't even realize we have going on um, because we don't really notice it, but everybody else can hear it. So we are going to do a really fun craft today. And one of my favorite things to do is to look around my house and focus on things that I sometimes throw out or even recycle, but things that I have a lot of because I use that product a lot. And I always try to think of better ways to reuse the item instead of recycling it or throwing it out. Because what most people don't realize is that even when you recycle things, they can't reuse all of it. And it costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of energy to recycle things. So if we're trying to be really green, it's actually better to upcycle something than to recycle it. So that's one thing that some people don't realize. Another thing is I love the challenge of being able to look at something and think, hmm, what else could this be? How else could I use that? And that really gets me excited. It makes me work hard, makes my brain work hard. And I really, really like that challenge. So today we're actually going to do two different versions of this craft. One is a little bit um, simpler and the other one is a little bit more complicated, but neither of them is especially difficult. So before we get started, I always like to go over the supplies and I'm going to do that. I have with me, sorry, my, my Zoom screen is a little bit hard to uh, focus on me and focus on my supplies at the same time. So we're, we're going to see most of me and hopefully I will lift up my supplies and then I'll adjust the screen when it's time to actually put it together. So I have a pair of scissors. I have a pen. Now I like to show all the materials I have. We may use some of them, we may not. It really just depends how we go about making it. And what I mean by that is sometimes I have a grand plan of how something is going to work, but then it kind of takes a different direction and that's fine. Each one is going to be unique. And so sometimes if I look and I look online, how am I going to make something and they use materials that I don't have, I think, hmm, what can I use instead that I do have instead of saying, nah, I can't do that project, forget it. So if you don't have a pen, but you have a pencil, great. If you decide to make the type of flower that you don't need to cut anything, then you don't need a pair of scissors. But I shared as much of the supplies as I thought you might need so you guys would be ready. So scissors, pen. I have a bunch of clear water bottle caps, which are a little bit hard to see because they're on a white styrofoam plate. But I'll tell you a little secret. We drink a lot of water in my house and I don't really like the water from the tap. So it's bottled. But I try to recycle the bottles and they keep on changing whether or not you're, you can recycle the caps, you can't recycle the caps, but I like to reuse them instead. So we're gonna be reusing bottle caps. So I'm actually gonna spill them out so that you can see them a little bit better on my table. There are my caps and my plate, okay? Now I also have a wooden skewer, which was one of the optional um, supplies. And on my sample, you can see I actually used some metal bottle caps. So for those of you on Facebook, we'll flip it over. 
metal bottle caps. My last supply, well, well here's more bottle caps, and my last supply that I had, as you can see, I really do collect these things, is my hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, that's totally fine. You can use white glue. The reason why I really like to use hot glue when I do these demonstrations is because it dries faster and I can show you the different steps without having to wait because it can be a little bit annoying to wait for glue to dry. So that prevents me from having to do that. So we are going to get started. Again, if anybody has any questions, you can um, uh, write them in the comments on Facebook or you can unmute yourself and ask them on um, on Zoom if they're related to what we're doing, or you can type them in the chat area um, on Zoom as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the simpler version, which you can do either with metal bottle caps or with plastic bottle caps. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move my screens down so you can see my work area. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange my bottle caps. Now, one of the supplies which I mentioned you could use as an option, which you don't see here, is a permanent marker. And the reason why I wrote that is because water bottle caps are clear or whitish, and they're going to make a white flower. If you want it to be colorful, like in my sample, then you're going to need to use something that has colors. And that's why I suggested maybe using some Sharpies because if we are putting this outside and you use other kinds of markers that are washable, well, you can imagine what happens the first time that it rains. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to arrange your flower so you know how big it's going to be and how many, you are go how many bottle caps you're going to need. So I'm going to put one in the center and I am going to First, give it some Mickey Mouse ears, but I really don't want it to look like Mickey Mouse. I'm going to push them a little bit closer together so that they touch. So now it looks more like a triangle. And I'm going to keep on adding my, my bottle caps around my middle bottle cap until it kind of looks like a flower. There we go. So I have the one in the middle, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now, once I've gotten it to where I like it, then it's time to glue. So, give me a second, I'm just letting somebody in. So, if you are going to color them, this would be a good time to color them. It's fine to color it after you make the flower, but it's a little bit easier if you um, color it first because the motion of coloring can um, work against your glue, especially if you're not using hot glue and it will make it separate. Um, so it'll just take a little bit longer. So I would suggest if you're going to color, you would go ahead and color your caps before gluing. Here is how we are going to glue it. So because I'm doing it on my table, I am going to put it back on my plate so that I protect my plate. However, it's gonna make it a little bit harder to see so once it's done, I'll take it back off and it will be easier for you guys to see the final product. Um, so, never mind. I can take the glue off my table. We'll keep it easy. Okay, so the best way to glue these is to put a little bit of glue on the side. So I'm going to squeeze my hot glue and it is quite warm and I am going to stick two together. For the first one, it really doesn't matter which two I stick together, okay? Now we're gonna repeat the process, but on the other ones, we're not just going to put glue in one place, we're actually going to put glue in two places because we want it to connect to the middle of the flower and to the side petals. So, for those of you that are just joining, welcome. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to send them via chat or you can unmute yourself and ask them. Um, we have just glued our first two petals or our center of our flower and our petal, our first petal. Some people find it easier to glue on the underside. That can work too. I'm going to actually do that for my other petals 
but it's easiest to get started with the center one doing it on the, um, the top side. So again, I'm going to take my cap. I'm going to put glue in two places on this one. One is going to attach to the center, but I'm also going to need to put some glue where I can attach it to the side flower. Now, if you are using hot glue, one of the things that you'll notice, give me a second, is that you get these little, whoops, I got a little flip on that one. You, you get these little, um, I'm not even sure what they're called, these kind of glue strings. And we'll worry about that later. We don't have to worry about that now. But as you can see, my glue has already dried and I now am able to hold up my triangle and we will continue to make it look like a flower. So I will zoom in a little bit. You can see that there are some of those stringy kind of things. That's okay. You'll just pull them apart and we can clean that up later also. Some people, like I said, like to put the glue on from the top side. Some people like to do it from the underside. Either way is fine. It's really just a preference. So now I'm going to go on and do my next one. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you glue it from the underside. So there's one for the side and one for the center. And there we, whoops, I didn't even glue it in the right place. That sometimes happens too. But it's a very forgiving project, which means it doesn't have to be exact, and it lets you fix it along the way, which is one of the reasons why I really like it, because I'm not perfect. And I'm going to continue. Two dabs of glue, one to the center, and this time I'm going to wait till after I stick the center one before I add the glue to the underside to attach the two petals. That way I'll make sure I put it in the right place instead of the wrong place. Again, one for the center, stick that down, a little dab of glue, whoops, that wants to come with me, to connect the two petals. And for my last one, because I'm connecting to a petal on each side, I'm going to need to add two more dabs of glue, not just one. And if you're not sure whether all of them are secure, this is a great time to just go and put a little extra dab of glue. Again, this is the back, unless you choose to make it the front. This is the back, and so all that extra glue would not really show. So, here is my clear water bottle, or whitish water bottle, flower, cap flower, I should say. Alrighty. So, this is, oops, we've got two questions, so we're going to pause for questions. Let's see. Um, this is over when we're done. How's that? And welcome, Elijah, from the Adventurous Kids YouTube Educational Show. Thanks for joining us. It's really awesome. Happy 25th anniversary May 13th. Very cool. That's awesome. Uh, after this, I will definitely head on over to YouTube and check that out because I have never heard of it, but it sounds really awesome. So thanks again for joining. Alrighty. Thank you. Alrighty. So we are going to continue with our next type of, oops, sorry, with our next type of flower. So if you have any questions on this one, feel free to ask. Otherwise, we are going to move on to the other one, which is really super cool. It's similar to this one, but it's a little bit more elaborate, which means it's a little bit fancier and it will look really awesome in your garden or in a window box. Um, and um, it's really gonna wow your, your friends and your visitors when you can have visitors. So, you're people walking by and just seeing from afar. So that's really cool. Um, now, one last thing. If you actually want to give this a stem, which most flowers have, you are going to need to use something. 
So you have a lot of options. Like I said, I will tell you what um, I have used, but you should look around your house and see what you have available um, and go with that. You can also get creative and make different types of flowers that maybe are a different shape, maybe a tulip. So there's lots of different possibilities. So I actually used a wooden dowel or I keep on call, I always call it that. These are actually wooden skewers. They're kind of long, a little bit thicker, and um, I really like them. They're a little bit pointier at one end, and they are flatter on the other end. Um, there are some skewers that are, that are a little bit thinner. That should be fine too, just as long as it's not too thin that the weight of the flower will crack or bend the skewer. Um, so, um, now, if you don't have wooden skewers, that's totally fine. However, um, there are other options that you can use. So, for example, you could use a uh, pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner is one of those furry things that are really long and they have the metal in the middle. That could work. Um, again, that might make your flower a little bit heavy um, and weigh it down, but guess what? That happens to real flowers also. Some flowers are so heavy that you actually have to prop them up. So that would make it look even more um, authentic, more real. Um, or you could take a few different um, pipe cleaners and wind them together and that way um, you would be able to prevent it from flopping over. So, all right. So that is how you make your flower stand up. You could also add um, leaves or petals um, and maybe another little flower. I'm sure you guys could get super creative with this. So now we are going to move on to our other type of flower that is a little bit more, um, I don't want to say complicated because it's not complicated, but like I said, that big fancy word, elaborate. It's a little bit fancier, a little bit more impressive. People are going to wonder like, wow, how did you figure out how to do that? So I'm going to show you. So we are going to use our bottle cap stash and I am going to try and keep them all the same time, same type. Um, however, um, you can totally feel free to mix and match. Um, these are your flowers. Um, so have at it, whatever you prefer. So I am going to zoom back in on my materials. So this is where the um, the plate could come in very handy. Again, you don't need to use it. Um, some people do find it easier to, um, to use a base for this type of flower, but it's totally up to you. If you're wondering why I would be using a styrofoam plate, if I'm so, um, concerned about the environment because styrofoam is not really so good for the environment. The reason is that if this is going to go outside, a paper plate is just not a really good idea. So styrofoam will not um, get all watery and yucky and disintegrate. So I guess there's pros and cons to that. So for our next type of flower, we're going to do something pretty similar, except instead of starting with the middle of the flower, like we did for this one, we're actually going to start with the outside of the flower, which is kind of unique and interesting. So before I glue it, I'm going to actually show you what it's going to look like. So we're going to build it first and then we will attach it with glue. So there's my stash, which you may or may not be able to see. We will move it. Okay. So my first bottle cap, I'm going to go around and make a circle. Okay, it will probably be about six or seven flower, um, petals or bottle caps, I should say. So let's do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I could do eight. I could take one out, make it a little bit smaller and do seven. Okay, after those are all glued, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. And what I mean by that is for all of my friends who really like Lego, one of the best rules of Lego, or if you're into laying bricks, that could work too. They use the same exact method. 
is you actually need to put on your next brick, whether it's a Lego brick or a brick brick, or whether it's a flower petal for this kind of um, activity, is you're going to put it in between the two that you've already put down. And so in between every two caps, you're going to add another one. Now it's a little hard to see on the screen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use some of my other bottle caps to show you. So, my first layer is all the white kind. Now I'm going to use this other type of bottle cap. Now the reason why it's moving is because I haven't glued anything down. Obviously, that's not going to really happen when we have glued it. So, I'm adding another layer and what you will notice is that I'm not putting them exactly on top. Oops. Now because they're not glued, it's not working super well, but it will work really well when we actually glue it. So it'll come out looking a little bit like that, although there's one missing. Then we will do another layer and we will keep on layering until we can put one in the middle and then we have a three-dimensional flower and it is super cool. And we are going to go ahead and get started with actually gluing it. It looks like we had some questions. All right. Okay, for those of you just joining, we are making bottle cap flowers for the garden. So we already made one. This was my sample that I made. This is the one that we did together. And now we are doing a fancier version of this one, but one that's three dimensional. Now, if you want to turn the one that you've already done into a three dimensional one, we can do that too. And maybe that's the one that we'll start with. So since we already have this one. So we will move this one over to the side and I will get started gluing. So to do it with this one, what we will do is in between every two caps, not in between the middle one, we can actually pretend it has no middle one because we're not gonna end up seeing that one. In between every two bottle caps, we are going to put a new one on. So I'm showing you with the black one, just so you can kind of see. So, Ilana, we're doing it together, so you'll be able to see how we make it. Okay, so as long as you have your bottle caps, you've got to have bottle caps in order to do it. So, I am going to take my glue gun again, take another bottle cap. Now this time when we glue, we're going to glue in a different place. We're going to glue on the bottom edge. So you're gonna be really, really careful because you really don't want to burn yourself because that is uncomfortable. I know because it's happened to me. And so the smartest thing to do is to wear gloves. My challenge, I have very small hands and a lot of gloves don't fit me. So then the extra finger part gets a little bit annoying and in the way. So I try to be super careful. Again, I'm taking another one and I'm putting glue around the edge. Of course, if you're not using hot glue, this is not a concern because white glue can just be scraped off your fingers pretty easily. And now I am doing a third bottle cap. Same thing, putting glue around the edges. Gonna take one from that other version. And in between every two, because we did not make our original flower with this project in mind, it, we probably should have added one more. This one will be a little bit tight, but that's okay. Every flower is different. So I will put my glue gun down and I will show you how it came out. There you go. Ooh, I hope you guys can see well. There you go. We now have a three-dimensional flower which is super cool it does look a little off center because we are missing one cap because it did not fit but that's okay because when you do it from scratch you can make sure that you have the correct number 
we did it starting with the flower that we had made that had six petals around and one in the middle. When you do it for this type of layered look, that's a more three-dimensional flower, you would probably want to do seven on your base instead of six. But it is a really cool looking flower and it could be added to your same stick or it could be put on its own stick and you can make a bouquet. And little news flash, little secret, this is actually a really, really fun do-it-yourself, make-at-home Mother's Day gift. For all of you who are stuck at home and maybe can't go out and buy a gift, don't want to order a gift, I love to give gifts that are homemade because they are more unique and I know that nobody else has exactly the same one that I am making. So I am a huge fan of DIY, which means do it yourself. I'm also a huge fan of asking for help if I need it. And I definitely suggest that you guys make some of these. Again, you can color them, you can paint them. If you're going to color or paint them, I would suggest that you do it before you do the gluing, but you can spray paint them afterwards if you would like. And um, definitely, if you have any questions, feel free to ask because I would love to be able to help you. And I would really, really love it if you would send me some pictures of your finished item. If you were just watching and not actually doing it along with me, um, it would be really awesome if you'd show me your final product. So just to review, we started out with bottle caps. You can use plastic or metal. Either one is going to be totally fine. And, um, you also need some sort of item for a stem. And then we glued our caps together and you can make different layers if you do the more elaborate kind or you can keep them all the same layer for a more simple design. There's all sorts of different flowers out there so there's no right way to do it. It's the way that you like to do it. So I suggest laying it out first and once you like the design, then you can go ahead and add your glue and connect your caps. So, because we actually made this one three-dimensional, we're not going to do the same thing with the other one because I think I used up my bottle caps that look the same. Um, so, I trust that you guys understand and you can do it yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your day. And, um, did someone have a question? Okay, right now we're just asking questions about the project. I would love to be able to chat with you about that after, but we're going to wait till um, we answer any questions. Are there any questions about the craft? Um, well, it, I think it's pretty easy. It can take anywhere from five minutes to 25 minutes. Depends on your glue. It depends on whether you're going to paint it, whether you count that as part of it. Um, it can be a really fast craft or it could be something that takes a while. It depends how many flowers you decide to make. Oh, that's totally fine. Absolutely. Anyone else? Alrighty, well have a wonderful rest of your day and send me those pictures. Have a great day. What do we need? So actually the supplies um, were on our website. Um, so 